right seven times since Christmas. You heard that right, seven times at two locations, twice overnight. We first talked to the Chicago liquor store owner about this earlier this month. Now he's telling our Tara Molina he can't take any more. Another day, another broken window for this liquor store owner. This location has been hit four times now just this month. The owner just told me his insurance won't cover him anymore. It was three times in one week. Maybe I should go shoot plays lottery. <laughs> Benjamin Porcalili isn't laughing anymore. That's from when we caught up with him earlier this month. They, they steal it from me over and over and over again. Feel like a nightmare. Today? The police keep said on their cars, serve and protect. I don't see anything. I'm pissed off. With his two Chicago stores hit seven times since Christmas Day, both burglarized overnight. I didn't want to even come in and open my doors. For what? Get robbed again? He caught the crew on surveillance cameras at this location, smashing through the only glass left to smash with the rest of the business boarded up. Then using shopping baskets to clear out the store. Eventually, you see a police cruiser behind the car. This owner says they ended up driving to burglarize his old town location. Same gang went to four different locations, five different locations. Even police told me that. They went to a couple of other uh, liquor stores around here. Sephora, right next door, also hit. Chicago police wouldn't say why they didn't follow and arrest the crew, but at this point, this small business owner says he truly can't take anymore. I'm broke, I'm flat broke. Telling me his insurance company won't cover him anymore after so many burglaries. He has more than $20,000 in damage, more than $100,000 in inventory stolen. The window gates he's buying to protect the glass at both stores? $18,000. Police arrested these three Sunday, charged with theft, accused of walking in and stealing liquor from the Lakeview store. But the crew or crews behind the massive burglaries still out there. As this business owner, here in Chicago for more than 20 years, tells us he's hanging on by a thread. I pay taxes, I pay whatever I'm supposed to pay. I, I need protection. I want some answers from the, the bosses of the city. Chicago police wouldn't address our questions on what's being done to protect small businesses like this one and to crack down on these burglaries, but they do tell me they're still investigating all of them. Reporting in Lakeview, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News.